What's good? What's good? I am back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, what events, and much, much more. Um, today, I'm going to react to Feminist Calls Men Trash and Gets Destroyed. I think this is a uh, Pearly Things video. Definitely love Pearly Things video. Um, says a lot of things I agree with. Of course, everybody, you never agree with everybody 100%. But if I agree with you 80 to 90 percent, that's pretty good odds. That's pretty good uh, percentage margin. But before we get into that, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. It's that turn, that lick, that slap. It is that one, that A. Everybody talks about a dismal new drink. They like that turn, that lick, that slap. It is that one that hey, everybody, everybody talk about, about there's a new drink, drink. They, they like, like they like do you dizzle yes i dizzle dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila french cognac and orange liquor mango mix just throw your dizzle on ice and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur, it must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Just go to DizzleBrand.com, click on Our Locations, click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. It's the cheaper link. And there you go. 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Order your very own bottle or bottles. And Dizzle is now also available on Reserve Bar. So anybody that's part of um, you know, sign up to Reserve Bar. Go check us out. Just type in Dizzle. Or you could just Google Dizzle. Um, also, they got the merchandise at the Dizzle brand store. And um, they got locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas under our location. Excuse me. Under our locations as well. And coming soon to a state or city near you. So let, let's hear this men of trash and... Gets destroyed. To come on this it, podcast and say that men, I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but it was something like men are trash, right? No, I said men are nasty, but then I said all humans are nasty. But I'm, but I'm saying what men are trash. That's common in society, right? Women are yep. trash isn't. Men are held accountable all the time, every yeah. day. Mm-hmm. So are it's women. Always, women are held accountable. No, not, no we're not. at a low. We offer less yeah, to men than ever. We are the average age of first men. Men value purity and youth. Purity, youth, beauty. Women are fatter than ever before. We're older yes. than ever before. Yes. And we're less youthful than ever getting married. Yes. And we have more bodies than ever. So, Facts. so so we bring less to the table than ever. How many women have a cookbook? Of, Zero. Of just recipes that they made themselves. How many women have that that you know? None since What's my grandmother passed. Nigella Lawson. Okay, but yeah. you, you're, thinking, you're, thinking, you're thinking you're thinking you're thinking your own of, recipes that you've written oh, in there that yeah. passed down. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? That cool. What do you how, mean? Exactly. How, what many, I mean, women, how many women have She's a cookbook? How many bricks. women know how to do it? How many women are neat and organized? Domestic. How many men can build stuff? How many men um can my fix up the home? My man can. That's fine. But not you, not all men can <laughs> say that all right, they do. All right. Okay. 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 Have to say that all right. Check. 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 Okay. Check okay. Actually, let's, let's just do. Let's just do. All right. Do any. Do any of you have a cookbook of recipes you've written yourself? Auntie, any of you? I can. I, I can a, cook a lot. I, I can write it down. No, no, no. Yeah. I said, do you, do you have recipes that have been passed down generation to generation? I do. Because I'm true. African. Na- name five. Um, ten, so we cook jollof rice. We have a special fried rice that we cook. We have fish stew. I'm African. We have a cookbook. We have okay. recipes. How many of you are virgins? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yo. I'm so you exercise that. I'm saying what well, this is what men care about. Like the ideal yeah. woman for most men is a virgin 20 22 year old roughly. Missing. Men are most attracted to 22 year olds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Right. 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 You know what? Honestly, there's some data that says younger. Some some says 18, some says even younger. So no, let's no, not go. Let's no, go with 22. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can also say something, right? Just to um my man, when I was growing up, I was in a dance group with this girl. And this girl was the most sexiest hot girl, and it always went on about her. And I went out with I went I met her over the a couple of weekends ago, and I said, "Yeah, I saw your girl." He goes, "Oh, she looks so hot. She looks so <laughs> You know what I mean? And I showed him a picture of her, no, a video. It went off her. He said to me, "Do you know what? Right, you've upset me." All the next day, he was talking about it. I couldn't sleep. All the next day, she went from like a sexy eight-year-old to like a, a size twenty whale. 
And he couldn't believe that it's the same person. I said, I look a lot better in your eyes now, didn't I? But I never had no problem with him looking at other women. Because I know that according to our age, that was your crush back then. That's why I was happy to show him that women let themselves go. They've always got so much to talk about the men. But when they get to a certain age, they let themselves go and they still yeah. expect to get the same men. Yeah. Whereas nine times they out of ten... They don't keep up the energy. They like don't the, keep yeah. it up. No, no, no. So and fact, they try and right. fake it. Let me let me chime in. Um, There's a lot of double standards going on. Women expect men to be faithful all the time, but women are horned more than ever. Um, I could tell you right now, my grandma had a cookbook. My mom doesn't. So my grandma's generation might have been the last generation of women with cookbooks. And this chick that implies I'm African, we have a cookbook. She didn't ask you, do, do, uh, is there like recipes that most Africans make? She asked you, do you have a cookbook of your own fucking recipes that you fucking made up? And then when you ask one of the chicks what that shit is, she's like, what is that? I mean, they're dumber than ever. They're fatter than ever. They're... Like she said, they got more bodies than ever. They don't got cookbooks. Um, they're less of housewife material. If you ain't got a cookbook, you sure as hell are not a housewife. You're not housewife material if you don't got a cookbook. Uh, let's keep it going. And, no, hold on, and let me go back to something she said about men don't be building shit no more. Um, I don't know if y'all seen the video where they showed... Um, like it's like a survivor kind of video. You got a group of females on one side of the island and a group of men on the other side. The the, the women are literally still arguing over who's going to be the boss. And the men have literally built fucking mansions and shit and fucking shelter and everything on the other side because we can work together. A lot better than women, first of all. We can work together. Men can just say, hey, this is your role, this is your role, this is your role, this is your role. And we can accept that. With women, somebody always has to be the boss. Let's keep it moving. When we was all in school, there wasn't 18, 19, 20-year-old women pulling up in cars Oh, to pick up facts. The year cool 11, no, facts. The year <laughs> no, there no. was 18, 19 year old men pulling up, up school in girls. cars oh. to pick up the high school girls. Year 10, year 11 girl. yep. that, 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 so it just goes to show women so, um, 100% they peak earlier. And then how many times have you seen, like, for the men, yeah, like within they the mad as hell over there whatnot, having a listen to that, that girl look at their faces that for certain men wasn't attainable in school. Yeah, she was like I said, the 18, 19 year old was picking yeah. up all the all the baddest you in yeah. school nah. in the year. Let, Every but, high school is like that. Fast forward, you meet you buck her down the line like yeah, at, at 24, 25. Yeah, all of a sudden, she's following you and she, she's but, she's showing interest. She's but saying, she's popped down. Yeah. I, I, yeah, and she might not be totally well, popped she's, down because she's lost the things men value now. Yeah. Because she's, she's probably so, older, she, she's, she's probably peak. fatter, and she's probably slept with more dudes. Yeah, she's so she's less, peak, she's she's less valuable decline. to men. Yeah. 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 yeah, and and you've caught up because and, you've gained more value. Yeah, you know? and but that's we're so brainwashed that we literally think like women. We literally think we're the prize when we offer less than ever. It's not those. But what's the whole thing with fatter? Like you've said fatter a few times. Like what what men don't men don't like fat women. That's not true. Not huh? in general. Why, that's not then true. why does every rich man have a Victoria's Secret model exactly. or someone that looks like one? But they still exactly. cheat. But they Wait. still cheat. And Jim, yeah, but, 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 but no, no, are the no women. guys, guys, cheating isn't winning. The winning is the girl yeah. that gets the ring and the girl that gets the deed. It's not winning. Yeah. Just because, just because you got a dude to sleep with you guys will sleep with a hole in the no, wall. That's, that's, that's not a that's not a prize. But that's not good. Let me chime in on what she said. Men will sleep with the hole in the wall. See, this is this is what y'all fail to realize. Y'all not living in reality, women. Women, the ugliest woman can go to the bar. And if her goal is to get laid for the night, there's a hundred percent chance she's gonna get laid. Women always have more options. 
and that's why they cheat more because they have more options to cheat. The men that are cheating heavily are just the small few that have a shit ton of options that every man doesn't have. If I take an average Joe Schmo off of the street, like, yo, your goal is to go to the bar tonight and get laid. He's lucky if he's got a 50-50 chance. The woman has literally got a 90%, 100% chance of getting laid, even if she's the ugliest, fattest bitch in the room. You know, so that, I mean, damn, it. that, how are you the prize if any woman can go to the bar and get laid? That doesn't really make you a prize. That makes you a used car. And the man, even though he doesn't have as much options, it's more of a prize because the fact that he has less options and he's not so much of a used car. You know, I don't know if y'all know, but women are like used cars. And what I mean by that, like used cars, what do they do when you drive off the lot? They depreciate in value, you know, and that's fine. I mean, and another thing is women get to a point where they give out no more sex in a relationship. They get to a, a point in the age where they dry up like a fucking prune and they can't even have sex no more. Men, we are trying to die in a piece of ass. We are trying to die having sex we were trying to die getting laid. If, if, if a man could pick the perfect way to die, it would be in the middle of sex. I'm telling you, there's no man on the planet that would disagree with me that the perfect way to die is in the middle of getting laid. Women at a certain point drive like a prune and stop having sex. We're trying, we got Viagra. <laughs> Viagra. We're trying to do this shit to the day we die. We're trying to procreate and have sex, sexual intercourse to the day we die. That is part of our responsibility and our job as males on this earth. Let's keep it moving though. Somebody's overweight. You got to think to yourself, because everybody gets caught up. Whenever you say, whenever you mention the word fat, and there's somebody fat around, some most of the time they always get offence to it. But you can only say it like you say, if you're fat, you're fat. Can right? I say but it's not about taking offence. No, 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 no. Let me finish, because the women always seem to think like, oh yeah, the tech lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. That's what the men are seeing. They're not seeing, oh yeah, you got a bit of what they're thinking. Well, hang on a minute, she can't control her eating because she control money. Can she control herself? Can she control? And that's what they're thinking about. Because the biggest sign, I don't care whether people say, oh, they eat, they're sick, they're this, they're that, they're whatever, they're whatever, they're whatever. It's lack of discipline. Mm. Pearl got fat. I see Pearl going out there and doing the gym and, and uh, having her talk today about more, pro not, more protein, less carbs and Getting all that. Gut. So as far as I'm concerned, she's trying to do something about it. It ain't sexy. You know, she got cut back on all them cupcakes, but she's, she's gonna, he's going to make her suffer for it. He's going to make her suffer for it. He's going to make her suffer for it. But me now, i got the same clothes as when my son was young. And what I find to realise now is that I tried on a dress the other day and it looked like it was swallowing me. I'm a size 8. The dress is a size 8. And what I realise now is that when I'm seeing these fat people say, oh yeah, I'm a size 10, I figure you can't be a size 10. You know why? Because the people that are making the clothes are making a size 10 bigger. So me now, I can go in certain places and I have to buy a size 4 or a size 6. I'm not a size 4 and a size 6. I'm a size 8 to 10. I'm sorry, auntie, to say that's what you are now. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if that's the case, then you've got the people there that normally 14 and 16 that now saying they're size 12. But that's what men, that women always say, oh, they're always saying that we're fat. You know why? Because the men see it as a lack of discipline. The men see it, it as like, lack of you discipline. cannot be cooking good home-cooked food and being that size. Well, no, 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 no
I feel like what do you not agree with? I, I feel like it's a lot lo- with what Auntie's saying at all because I feel like there are men out there that okay, there are men out there that don't care about the size, and there are men out there that specifically go for bigger girls. There are men out there that even are feeders; no. they purposely okay, feed okay. women. Okay, okay, men don't like fat women. I get but, it. Obviously, being fat is not is, in society is not deemed as being attractive. But however, I don't think it's fair to say what what percent of guys. I didn't know so, No, I'm saying, like, small, come on. Very let's just small. Be, like, let's just be real for a second. Yeah, the guys like, who have no real. What percent of guys, are, is that common? Men to be, fe- like, this is what girls always do. It's every time oh, no, we make a point that's for the men and that makes sense, we have to bring up the exception. Mm. If, if that was the case, then you would see the men with the most options, the most handsome men and the most rich men with fat chicks, but they're not. But it's because so they're embarrassed. The, the men, no, the men oh, that, that date mean, fat, the men that date fat chicks, it's usually they don't have as many options. And some girls Thank get you. away with it a little bit more because they're shaped better, they have a pretty face, but by and large, men just don't like fat and girls. Yeah, some Would you go to the chicken shop faces. and buy a bone and a bit of chicken with no meat on it? Would you go to the chicken oh. shop and ask for a side breast with no meat? Just they, 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 might, they might like ass and boobs, like the but they don't want a gut. That's not asking yeah, for like chicken back. Yes, I do. But then you go to the chicken shop. chicken back to chicken breast. Do you go to the chicken shop to buy chicken with no meat on it? No, terrible analogy. Some meat on your okay, let's, 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 analogy. Okay, let's, let's ask, let's ask some That went on work about the camera. Let's talk to the man. Today, I've heard like, like, you, from what I can hear and see, yeah, it's like the common problem today is that the young women of this generation, they think they know what men want. And they say it with such, like, such, conv- they such conviction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just need to listen and ask a bit more because there's men in the room, there's men within your life. Like, yeah, you, you, you can't truly... You know what? And he touched on it right there. And these chicks, it doesn't matter what you say to them. They got their minds made up. They're 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 like far left liberals. You can't sit down and you can't present facts and evidence and persuade them to change their mind. They have their minds made up. And he's got it hit it on the nut. Women think they know what men want. You don't. You have no fucking clue. You only know what you want. And that's all to you, that's all that matters. What you want. And you're what what you want is a laundry list. I mean, it's a laundry list. It's laundry list of things. We just want a woman that we're attracted to and we can get along with. That's all we want. That we can enjoy spending time with, you know, but I guarantee there's no woman on the fucking planet that has a clue of what I want out of a woman. There isn't. There isn't. You know, and that's the thing. Just because y'all want to change, you know, what y'all want doesn't mean that we've changed what we want. That y'all out here trying to change men, trying to masculate us and, you know, get rid of what you call toxic, 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 excuse me, toxic masculinity. Um, You know, you're trying to change everything about us. That totally goes against the laws of nature of what a, being a male is about, you know, and it's not going to work for the most part. Yes, yeah, some you might be able to change and convert some, you know, some of these men into women like you want to, but some of us men are going to stay men, you know, and that's all I see. Women expect men to be like them and that's what's not that's not what's going on y'all don't know and y'all don't have a clue of what men want because y'all think y'all be thinking that traditional men want modern women y'all be wanting traditional men but y'all are modern women modern traditional men want traditional women they don't want modern women for the most part um yeah you know this is a narrative over and over again. Men are trash. Men are trash. You know, it's never the woman's fault. She never makes a, you know, she's never accountable for her choice in man. It's always got to be, oh, the man's a piece of shit. Well, you got to be accountable for your choices and your decisions in life, even though the left and the far left liberals and all that think, you know, we should have accountability or actually they should be accountable only far right and Republicans should be accountable. You know, you know how it is. It's a it's a one side offense right now. So once again I hope thank you for tuning in. Um 
you know, I definitely like Pearl. She's uh, definitely a chick that I would be interested in. Uh, she does something that I enjoy, podcasting. She's into the content creating. Um, she mainly talks about relationship topics, though. It's a little... I don't really try to get too much relationship stuff. You know, I think relationships are for the birds, to be honest with you. It's a it, relationships, a man made concept. It totally goes against the laws of nature. And I believe in the laws of nature, natural law. And it totally goes against that, you know. But I do agree with, like, based on how relationships are based in society, I do agree with the Kevin Samuels of the world before he passed. The rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. And um, Pearl and a lot of these other people, Fresh and Fit, say some things, a lot of things that I agree with. Um, and yes, they could tend to be harsh, but that's really kind of my cup of tea is harshness. You know, the truth isn't always pretty. It isn't always peaches and cream. It isn't. Sometimes it's ugly, you know, and um, I don't think you should never sugarcoat the truth by trying to say it the nicest way possible. You know, just somebody somebody takes the truth a better way. You just got to give the truth the way it is. And even though I know we're getting to the point in society where speaking truth and speaking facts is becoming a bad thing. But like I said on all my videos, I would never compromise being an honest person uh, so anybody can feel better about their fucking selves. That's the case. Don't come out the fucking house. Just stay in the fucking house all fucking day. And go cry in a corner or something, man. If if people have to lie just so you feel better about yourself, then um, there's nothing people can do so you'll feel better about yourself. And once again, I'm thank you for tuning in. Paul Pinker Podcast, and I'm out.